It's time for a, another movie update. This is going to be a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for October 25th, 2022. For this update, I got 11 VHS tapes, 8 DVDs, and 12 Blu-rays to show for this update. Which, during the past week, I got some more movies from various places recently. So, so yeah, let's get this started. First, we're going to start with the VHS tapes. And the first four VHS tapes are four more VHS tapes that I got from eBay during the last the last weeks, which all these were bid auctions, which I won. And here they are. And this first one's a 20th Century Fox Home, Home Video VHS released from 1982. And this one had the shrink wrap on the box, but it was open from this side. And the tape itself actually has the is a layer reprint is a layer reprint because it has a CBS Fox Video label on it. It's got a tan lid. Formal from flagship audio and video. And I did check this tape, and this tape still has the. Same masters the 20th Century Fox video logo video release because it starts the 20th Century Fox logo at the beginning of the film and then goes straight to the movie. So yeah, I was very lucky to get this tape as well. And these next two bid auctions come from the same seller. This next one's an RC Claim Pictures Home video release of a TriStar Pictures movie. I think this might be a formal from un for some unknown video store. The 48th week of 1985. And these last two tapes I got from eBay are both Good Times Home Video releases of Columbia Pictures movies. This one's part of the Hollywood Movie Great series. And both of these have the recording tab, but I took them off. And luckily, these tapes are not taped over, which is good. I'm sure we all know what these two tapes are at the end. And this one, the Chloe Pictures logo is blacked out for some reason on this tape. And these next seven VHS tapes are seven VHS tapes that I found that found from a box of videos that I was given to my one of my mom and dad's friends, one of their friends that had some VHS tapes that were given away, so they gave me a box, and I found some that I wanted. And here they are. Got seven of these, and here they are. Now, I did get this one and the next one on DVD last year, but I say I'm just going to stick with the VHS copies of these movies for right now.
And this one's a rare Lionsgate Home Entertainment tape from 2004 or 5. And this one's co-produced by Merrimax Films, surprisingly. This is a 1998 VHS release. It has a sticker label, a white sticker label. It was printed on November 8th, 2000. And and at, and at the beginning of this tape, even though this is a 1998 Born Home Video Born Shield VHS release, um, at the beginning of this tape, this actually has the Born Home Video Chi Chi Shield logo from 1985 instead of the 1967 Born Shield Born Home Video logo. So this is obviously an early 90s or late 80s tape master reissued in a late 90s VHS release. So yeah, kind of like my VHS of Empire of the Sun. And this next one's a and this next one is an actual War Home Video Born Shield VHS release. And this one's a Castle Rock Entertainment movie co-made by Village Russo Pictures and is released by Warner Brothers. March 16th, 2001. And this next one is another movie I had on VHS, which was the original Fox video release from 1996, but... The box on that was damaged, so I decided to replace that copy with this Premiere Series VHS release. From 1996, um, it says. Oh, it actually uses the original Fox Field label on this for some odd reason. But it's printed off the fifth week of 1997. Rest in peace, Anne Hayes, who died um, two months ago from a car crash accident, as we all know. And rest in peace, Ivan Reitman, who, who passed away at the beginning of this year. March 13th, 2000. And here's the last speech just for this update. And this is another Harrison Ford film. This is a DreamWorks movie co-made by 20th Century Fox. And only here in America, the DreamWorks logo is shown here in America. While overseas, 20, the 20th Century Fox logo is shown overseas rights so dreamworks had had the rights to this movie here in america while fox had the international rights two print dates march 30th 2001 and march 28th 2001 now let's get on to the dvds and the first three dvds are three more dvds that i ordered off of kino lorber studio classics website part of their percent off October sale. I got three more DVDs and three Blu-rays from there. So here are the three DVDs. This is a movie I've been wanting to check out for a long time. Now I finally have it. This movie, this is an EMI Films movie.
This is a 1973 United Artists movie. And here's the last DVD I got from the Kino Lower Studio Classics website. And this one's a 20th Century Fox movie. And next three DVDs are three DVDs that I got from Gameplay on Friday night. I found three DVDs there. This one's a Focus Features movie. This one was originally purchased from a Hat Price bookstore. This one, this one I had on VHS, but I wanted to get this on DVD because my dad likes this movie. So, thought it'd be nice to have this movie on DVD. And here's the last DVD, and this is a Mill Creek Entertainment DVD release. This is part this is a 40th anniversary series DVD release. This is a Columbia Pictures movie from 1975. Next DVD is a DVD that I got at the antique store on Friday night, as well as the DVDs and Blu-rays I got from Gameplay. Found one DVD, and this completes my American Pie series, because I have the first three movies on DVD, now I have this one, and I'm not going to get the American Pie Presents movies, I'm just sticking to the actual American Pie movies, in my opinion. I was going to get this one on Blu-ray, but... I'm just decided to go ahead and get this on DVD instead. And this last DVD for this update is a DVD, a DVD that I got at a, the Dollar Tree store at Brunswick, Cleveland, Ohio, Ohio while, while I was visiting my papa and grandma on Saturday. We stopped at Dollar Tree and found the DVD and Blu-ray there. And here's the DVD. This one looked interesting. This is a Sony Pictures DVD release, and this is a TV movie. I do like Harry Connick Jr., so so I go ahead and get this movie a try one day. This is from Sony Pictures Television. And lastly, here are the Blu-rays, which the first three Blu-rays are the three Blu-rays that I got from Kino Lorber Studio Classics website. This is part of the sale. And this next one, this movie I had on DVD, but it was a bit scratched, so luckily I was able to find the Blu-ray at Kino Lorber Studio Classics website for a good deal. So yeah, this is a Hollywood Pictures movie. Nineteen eighty five Orion Pictures movie owned by MGM and rest in peace Fred Ward who also passed away this year.
Here's the last word that I got from Kino Lobert Studio Classic Sale. And this one I had on VHS, but 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 this Blu-ray was on sale for ten dollars, so why not pick this up? And this movie does look pretty funny, so I do hope to watch this someday. This is a New World Pictures movie. The next two Blu-rays are two Blu-rays that I got from Criterion.com's website, part of their 50% off flash, flash, sale, flash sale that happened on my birthday and the day after my birthday, and I decided to order two Blu-rays from there, so here they are. Side numbers 1,000 and... One thousand one hundred and forty Columbia Pictures movie. And not only Cindy Potter, Potter stars in this movie, but he also directed this movie, which is pretty cool. And rest in peace to him once again. This is the other Blu-ray from Criterion. One hundred and sixty-six is the side number. And next four Blu-rays are four or four Blu-rays that I got from Gameplay on Friday night, along the three DVDs. I got four Blu-rays from there, so here they are. And this next one is another movie. It's a movie I had on DVD, but I wanted to get on Blu-ray. I actually wanted to get the Born Identity movies on Blu-ray, all except for the Born the uh, the Born Ultimania, because I because that one does not have Matt Damon in it. So I'm just sticking the ones that have Matt Damon in them. And my dad likes these movies as well, so why not get these on Blu-ray? And this one is actually a Blu-ray DVD, DVD DVD combo disc, so this side's probably the Blu-ray and the other side's the DVD, so this is pretty cool. This is a Screen Gems movie. That receipt I'll put in, put it back later after I get done with this video. This is another movie I have on DVD, but I want to get on Blu-ray. This is a Warner Brothers movie, co-made co by MGM. Here's the last Blu-ray that I got from Gameplay.
And these next two Blu-rays are two Blu-rays that I got at the antique store on Friday, along with the DVD of American Reunion, and found two Blu-rays from there. And this one, I do have the theatrical the, the theatrical cut of The Expendables on Blu-ray, but I decided to go ahead and get this extended director's cut a try someday. Because I believe this one's much a little different than the theatrical version. Here's the code, which this one probably already expired. Yeah, expired on December 13th, 2012. And here, here's the last, here's the other Blu-ray that I got at the antique store. Sorry, this camera's going out of focus, and I don't like it. Now, now it says this is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack, but this one only has the Blu-ray disc only, but that's okay with me. I'm just, because I prefer to have the, the Blu-ray disc only. Here's the digital copy code, which, which expired on July 27th, 2012. An ad for Honey 2 on DVD and Blu-ray. And here's the last Blu-ray for this update. This is the Blu-ray that I got from Dollar Tree on Saturday, along with the DVD of Live and Proof. And this one looks pretty interesting. I think this is like a mini-series, TV series, that John Voight hosted. And that's it for my VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for October 25th, 2022. Hope you guys like this video, and see you guys later.